So guys, let's imagine that we have the iTunes library on this computer. So for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in File Explorer. Click on it. And then once you're on this on the left hand side, you want to scroll down and click on this PC. And then you want to click on the drive where you have Windows installed on. It's going to have the Windows logo on it. That's how you know it's the correct one. You want to double click on it. And then click on Users. And then click on your username. And then click on the Music folder. Now you should be finding a folder called iTunes. And then once you find the iTunes folder, you want to right click on it and then click on the copy button right here. You could also click on it and then click on Ctrl and C on your keyboard, which will then copy it. Now you just want to paste that to an external flash drive or you could just email it to yourself. You just want to send it to something that can be accessed on a different computer. And now I'm on my other computer where I want to transfer the iTunes folder onto it. So here is the iTunes folder that I emailed to myself and I downloaded it onto this computer. You could also use the external flash drive and then paste it to your new computer. And now once we have it and we're on the other computer, you want to head over to search and type in File Explorer. Click on it. And then click on this PC. And then click on your Windows Drive. Users. Your username. And then Music. And now we're going to be back in this folder again. And now you want to delete the iTunes folder that's already in here. If there's anything in this folder, which there actually shouldn't be anyway, you want to make sure that it's backed up first and then you can just delete it. And now we're going to drag in the iTunes folder that we copy and pasted from our other computer into here. Now you just want to restart your computer and then you should be good to go.